everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura we're just gonna jump on into this recipe today this pineapple cream pie what we are going to do is we are going to add our pineapple into this little pot it's already on we are going to add our pineapple our sugar and our cornstarch break this up we are going to cook this down just to the point where, where it starts to thicken up. You have the juice to the pineapple and that's gonna thicken up like a jello. Okay, this just took a couple of minutes. As you can see, it's thickened up nicely. We're just gonna let it cook down for about two minutes or so. Okay, and that's ready to go. We're gonna turn this off, let it cool while we start working on the other ingredients for the pie. Okay, now for the filling, we're going to mix it into this bowl. We're just going to use a, a hand mixer. I have a pie. We cheated a little bit today. We bought just a ready-made pie crust. Just put it on any pie plate that you have. And we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees for now. Okay, so we can have the oven ready when this is done. For our filling, we are going to add our cream cheese, everything at room temperature, our sugar, our salt, our eggs, our vanilla. Now if you wanted to substitute this for clear vanilla, you can. And our milk. Okay, so we're just gonna beat this all up together. And this is ready. All right, now we are going to pour in our pineapple that we just finished cooking down. Okay, we're going to spread this around evenly. Okay, now we're going to pour our liquid in here. On top, just go slow so that it doesn't mix up. That's it. I'm going to pop it into the oven that's preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to bake it for 10 minutes and then we're going to cut the temperature down to 325 and bake it for an additional 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so keep an eye on it and I'll be back and show y'all what this looks like. The pie is out of the oven. I did put cross protector on it because it was getting a little too dark. So I put that on there and I did check it. My pie stayed for 45 minutes at 325. And it doesn't seem that anything's coming out and it seems it seems firm and ready. So we're going to let it sit here and cool completely before we slice into it and I will get some whipped topping. Uh, for the top and I'll be back. Okay everybody, I am going to top this pie with some whipped cream. I found this item at my local grocery store um, and it's whipped topping and it's already whipped for you and it's already in a decorative uh, pastry bag and it has the tip and I said how convenient. I said let's give it a try and see how, it, how this works. You're supposed to pull this and it doesn't pull. And it already has the tip in there, so I thought that was quite convenient. And then you just squeeze the top. Seems a little runny. Into this. And look at there. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste off camera. Mmm, this is so good. Very good, guys. Nice and creamy. You get a lot of the pineapple flavor. Mmm, the crust is crispy. Very nice. Okay, guys, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Look at that, how nice. It's really, really tasty, guys. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I will have the recipe listed down below. Go take a look there. Just a quick 
a video for y'all today guys I'll be back in a couple of days to get y'all another recipe but look at that how delicious how nice and creamy lots and lots of flavor this is gonna be a must-try pie okay guys I'll talk to y'all later bye